So I'm going to install this Mesa baby seat into this Nissan Rogue. This Nissan Rogue is my long-term tester because I'm starting a family soon. So I'm going to install it with the base and the anchor points, the base and a seatbelt, and then just the seat with the seatbelt. I'm going to follow the instructions. We'll go through everything. I'm not a professional baby seat installer, so don't trust my opinion on anything. Make sure you go to the police station or wherever to make sure that your baby seat is installed correctly. So let's start this off. So part of the reason why I chose this to be my long-term tester family car was because it looks really cool in Champagne and also these rear doors open like a full 90 degrees. So there's lots of room to get in for baby stuff. So first thing we do is we got to set up this base and we would probably want to read the instructions which actually fit below here. So that's really nice. But if we look before that, you can see that it's not for lap belts with emergency locking retractors, motorized or automatic, lap shoulder with two retractors, door mounted, inflatable, rear facing seats or side facing seats. This is normal. So let's start with leveling it so that there is no red visible. And you can also put a pool noodle if you can't reach the angle, but I think we can in this. So I'll push this, which will control this here. And I've got it fully extended now, I think. Let's try again. Nope, there, fully. So with it fully extended and wedged into the back, you can see that we don't see any red here at all. If we were to do it maybe all the way down, still no red. So that might actually be fine too, but when we lock into the anchors, we push down, that may trigger some red. So let's go with just one click. Actually, let's just go at this position and see how that goes. Next thing, what we have to do is we're gonna do the base installation with the lower anchors. So we need to pull out the anchors and clip them into the car seat, the actual car seat. So here are our anchors right here. So we pull those out on each side. Let's tuck them somewhere here where we won't forget them. And then we need to get these orange things out and clip them in there and see if everything's still level. So to get this out, I push this button here and that lets this slide out. And then I will place this into this anchor and it's self tightening. And now I have to do the same thing on the other side. We're pushing this orange button right here. And then I'll pull this out. And clip that into that anchor. And push it in. So once the anchors are attached, we need to apply firm pressure to the base, allowing all the excess lower anchor connector webbing to retract and tighten. So let's put both our hands here. And see, there was a little bit of red. Now there's absolutely no red visible. And if we look down here, there's no red visible. Do you think this counts as red visible? I feel like it does. So what I'm gonna do is undo it and raise this lower part up one notch to give us a little bit more angle. But this is proper. So to disconnect this, I just click this little red button like a proper seatbelt. And on the other side, red button. And then I will push this button and have this extend down one more. Perfect. Now I will clip this back in. Clip this back in. And now I need to tighten it in. This is all green, so that's good. From up here, you can still see it's red. So now I put the firm pressure with both hands. There we go. So that's green, that's good. Absolutely no red is visible here. So this was the correct thing, two steps, or like one up from the lowest. Okay, last part, check for secure installation by gripping the base at the belt path right here. 
Base should move less than 25 millimeters, one inch. If the base is not secured, apply pressure by pushing the base into the seat bite, seat bite increase of the seat to tighten it. If a tightness selection cannot be achieved, move the base to another seat position. Check that the base is still proper level. Okay. See that? That's definitely less than an inch. So I feel like that is a proper install according to the manual. Now what we need to do is take the baby seat and click it in. So attaching the carrier to the base, place the carrier on the base until a click is heard. One, check for secure connection by pulling up and down on the handle and adjust the lock and carry handle in the vehicle use position. So this is the vehicle use position. It has four positions as you can see right here. So A is the stand to stand it up. B is to store it. C is to carry it and D is for vehicle use. So this is where these gigantic Nissan Rogue back doors come in really handy. If I want to add this up here, I will open it to a full 90 degrees, which is pretty insane. I've got the baby seat and I click it in. Give it a little bit of a, yeah, see it's secured to the base. And then I will put this in the vehicle position. And as far as I can tell, that is a correct baby install with the base and the anchors. T baby seat install, time to do it with the base, no anchors, seatbelt instead. Oh, also this Nissan Rogue has built-in baby shades. So that's pretty sweet for baby shading. And I also remember seeing that you shouldn't be able to have anything touching this. So this is a good distance. You wouldn't want the passenger seat any farther back. Next, let's hit up the instructions, or we also have instructions right here. So let's try these, lap shoulder belt. We put it through and through this blue thing right here. Anything blue is seatbelt related. So we still have the same setting here where this is level, so we don't need to change that. We'll grab our seatbelt, string it through, open this up, and go through this blue here because that is for seatbelts. And then back down through here and click it in. And then we'll slide these up here. Let's see what the instructions say next. We open the lock, string it through, root the vehicle lap shoulder belt through the vehicle belt path while guiding the lap belt as close as possible to the top of the hinge. The lock off where the door hinges buckle with the vehicle belt. Root the vehicle lap and shoulder belt through the vehicle belt path while guiding the lap belt as close as possible to the top of the lock off where the door hinges buckle the vehicle belt. Hold the shoulder portion of belt above base with one hand push down in the direction of the seat bright crease of seat. Hold firmly as you pull your shoulder belt while holding the taut slide shoulder belt back through the belt path. Close off possible at top while holding taut slide shoulder belt back through the belt path as close as possible to the top of the lock off. And then it shows to push down on that and we close the section. Check that it doesn't move and check that it's level. So we've got that in place. We'll lock, pull all the way so the seatbelt starts pulling back. And we're going to just put a ton of weight here. Yank on this. And let's bring that right here. Let that pull up. Clip this part down. And if I let go, it shouldn't move. So it's green here, so that's level. It's green here, which is level. And green here, which is level. And now we just need to make sure that there's no movement. I would say that is a little too much movement. That feels like just about an inch. So let's see if we can tighten it up. We can undo this and just pull even more. Ugh. 
Look at that. Okay, so if we grab here, that's less than an inch of movement. And I believe that is a pretty correct install. And then to throw the baby seat in here, same thing. It does feel like it moves more, so I don't know. I'll try to avoid doing it that way. Now let's try just the seat, no base, with the belt. We'll take the baby seat off. Unclip this blue part right here. I'm going to see if I can make it any tighter real quick. Both of these underneath this blue clip, because blue clips are for seat belts. And then I'll need to yank this to tighten it. But first we got to put all our pressure on it, as much pressure as we can, and pull these belts up as high up as we can. So let's, I'll yank this so that the bottom one is as tight as it can be. And then I'll make this top one as tight as it can be. Pull the seatbelt and so it locks. Just keep putting pressure on it and making it tighter. Okay, and let's slide this up to the blue part and clip it into a place. Okay, and if I let go, it shouldn't leave the green. Nope, we got green here, green over here. Let's see if we grab this base here, will it move more than an inch? No, that feels pretty good. It doesn't feel as good as the anchors, but this still feels pretty all right. And if we clip on our baby seat, I feel like that's pretty decent how it should be. But I may be wrong, so don't trust my opinions. Now let's try just with the seat and no base with the seatbelt. Undo this. Move the base out of the way. And let's reference our instructions. Lap shoulder belt rooting method. Root the lap portion of the vehicle seatbelt through both vehicle seatbelt guides on the carrier. Buckle the vehicle seatbelt. Lock the vehicle seatbelt. If the vehicle belt is properly locked, the vehicle belt will no longer slide either in the belt path or in the buckle latch plate. Push the carrier into the vehicle seat bite while pulling on the shoulder portion of the seatbelt closest to the buckle to remove excess slack. Check the carrier securely installed by gripping the carrier at the vehicle belt path and moving side to side carrier should not move more than one inch if carrier is not secure retighten the vehicle belt or move to another vehicle seating location so we would put this here take our seat belt let's move this up for this install bring this through here through here and then into this seat belt. So the belt goes through both blue things and we'll pull and then tighten it. And that barely moves there as you can see. Uh, I feel like that is pretty good that I'd put this in the driving position. And then there's this red line here that we need to make sure is level. Right now it doesn't look level, so I think what we need to do is put some padding underneath here so that it would be more like that. But I don't have any extra padding with me right now. Maybe I can choke up this seat against there and that would be good. I mean, that looks pretty level. Yeah, I think, I think that's how it's supposed to be. Again, don't trust me on any of this stuff because I'm just trying it out going by the instructions. I also have a couple other cars I can install it in, but I will probably do that later. For now, this Nissan Rogue is going to be my baby hauling car. 
So I hope you like that uh, walk along, ride along of me installing a baby seat, following the instructions. Remember, I'm not a professional. Go to a police station to get everything checked properly or whoever is supposed to check that car seats are installed properly. And if you like watching car reviews, uh, check us out on the straight pipes. We're going to review this as our first long-term tester. I'm going to be driving it for about two months and using that as my main baby hauler. Baby comes in a month, so we will keep you posted on that. But we also do a lot of other cool stuff like sports cars and fast SUVs and slow SUVs. So check us out on the straight pipes and check out my unboxing of this video too. And I'll do other tech stuff eventually here and there.